Hola amigos, Ghost here, and today we continue the Warsaw Uprising. Last time we did a lot of uh, missions, and we're close to uh, the end of the first month of the uh, Uprising itself. We gained, I, if I remember correctly, we gained one new character from the last from uh, the last episode, and uh, we're just getting experience and slowly uh, upgrading our characters and just trying to survive as long as we can. And yeah, let's continue on to the next set of missions i already checked all the perk i already checked to make sure everything was upgraded and ready to go so we're gonna give the uh this stuff as much um more as we can and we're gonna enter the next mission phase so the first mission is in sm can't even pronounce that week in the giant which is basically we kill three nazi patrols the third one is in Walla, which is drive out the occupiers, which is to fight four battles. And the third mission is to reassert the, in, uh, the influence of the uprising in the district. And I'm going to be doing the Walla mission, because if I remember correctly, that's why I said I was going to do last episode. As five attrition is a lot, and plus it is the least uh, morale uh, of the three, it has the least amount of morale. And we don't want to lose any districts now, so... So this could be a much more intense combat focused mission. So we're going to bring out the heavy boys. Our strongest characters. Put them there and you there. We're going to have our our four strongest characters. I wish there was a I wish we were able to have more than these four characters like having more characters in the missions, but it'll be fine. We're going to take three all of our medic bags. We're going to take one flare and one compass. And we're going to bring in a lot more short ammo. And a lot of extra heavy ammo. And let's commence the mission. Alright, time to find these krauts. And there's already a, uh, what's, I forgot what's called, uh, a random event that we could check out. I just realized I could have walked through that. It's all rubble, actually. Shit. <laughs> I just walked around that for no reason. A discourse in ballistics. Through a series of weird circumstances, your team manages to recover a pack cannon. Ooh. Questions of supply and logistics aside, now come the part where you have to figure out how to actually use the thing properly. Academics, take a closer look. Others can handle it. We're going to try the academics since it's the only other option and we have a 70% 70, 70 chance for it to work. It is never as simple as just pointing and firing. Thankfully, your teammate seems to have worked out the general workings of the machinery just fine. With their insights, the uprising will soon be able to get some use out of your trophy. Plus 3 uprising momentum. Plus 12 heavy ammo and everyone gets some experience. That's good. At least one of my characters has some intelligence. I literally... Can I... Well, I'm gonna attack you regardless. I wanted to initiate the battle, but... Fuck it. Oh, what the hell is those? Wolfergate 42. What the... I don't want to know what those are, so I'm gonna immediately attack them. They're not really that strong, so... What is... Wait, hang on. Who is that? Oh, he's the crewman. I think if you take him out, he won't be able to do anything. Let me see if I can snipe the crewman. No, I can't. Damn it. Can I... Okay, I can snipe him at least. Okay. I have to... Oh, God. Stand by. Oh, God. Oh, Jesus. I can't use her again. Yeah, I'm going to try to target all three and damage them as much as I can. Oh, God. They're, they're going to probably be devastating hits on me. I killed the officer and I damaged the two guns pretty much. Oh, don't hit me. Stand by. Okay. I have a chance. I have a chance to destroy both these guns now. In the next turn, that is, not this turn. 
because if I do this, bam, destroyed. All we gotta do is kill the crewmate now. And he can't do anything but fire, yeah. Supporting fire. He's just a lonely guy. Can I snipe with you? What? I guess that's the only issue with her character. Uh, clear shot. Bam. You know, I'm gonna take this time, the, the second thing to heal. Who do I heal first? I say him since he has the least amount of health. And I'm just going to do a single shot this time around. Of course it misses. And he does damage. That's fucking fantastic. I hate that. Uh, Christ. Let her heal herself. And then heal... Uh... Yourself again, because you have less health than the others. Alright, now we... Uh, can I do volley? No, I can't. Do I... Nope. Uh, can't do anything with her. Volley? Nope. Alright, mow down. And this should kill him. Or not. Apparently, he's gonna miss. <laughs> Jesus. There we go. Bam. Dead. First skirmish off to a good start. We found it, we uh, discovered a new type of enemy. <laughs> well, two types of new enemies. I'm gonna loot all and I'm going to immediately use healing to heal him up. Bam. Can't use anything else. Well, I could, but I'd rather wait. Shit, I'm stuck. There we go. I'm unstuck now. Let's grab what we can. And then we're gonna head back down after I use a compass to increase our AP. And then find more enemies to fight. Because there's at least potentially three down here. Oh. <laughs> well. Okay, we have MG42, a, a spotter who I think basically helps the enemy and officer. Okay. Who can I snipe first? I'll snipe the infantryman. Bam. Okay, good. He didn't dupe shit, and it doesn't suppress us, so we're good. So now I'm going to use this to kill their fucking officer and severely injure their two other soldiers. Firing assistance, uh, that's not good. Uh, mow down. Kills the spotter, almost kills the grenadier. Oh, I have one more. Oh, I didn't realize. Uh, I want to ensure the kill. I should have used someone else to ensure the kill. <laughs> uh, target acquired. Bam. Take him out. And now all that's left is him. Ow, you fucker. She's suppressed, so she can't do shit. Try to do full auto, see what happens. Does same just about the same amount of damage as mow down. Uh, and you know I'm gonna use her to heal one of our characters, the sniper, in this case. And now I use this to fucking kill. I hate when it does that. That's like my guarantee severe injury. Severe injure the enemy and I miss. I hate that. Come on, he's only one dude. Can I snipe him? No, I can't. What, can I snipe the- I can't snipe that. Why do you want me to- Why can't I snipe anything? <laughs> Jesus. Jesus. Now can I snipe you? No, I can't. Does- I, That 
that the sniper ability is confusing to me still. There's something that I have to like figure out with it. All right, just finish him. There we go. That was a pretty quick uh, battle, actually, surprisingly. And immediately we go into the third one. <laughs> and we'll loot both their bodies after. All right, let's see. We have, it looks like, two different kinds of grenadiers. A rifleman. I think that's a machine gunner slash police guy. And another, an SS officer. Oof. All right. Firstly, we're going to use them. And do that much damage to the top two. Ow. All right. Then we're going to use the snipe ability on him. Bam. Shoots the medic, of course, you fuckers. All right, time for the mow down. Mm. This will do a decent amount of damage. This will also do a decent. I'm going to do the top because they have less health. I'm going to do it again. Kill one of them and it nearly kills the other guy. And it actually allows us to go again. And I'm going to do that so I can destroy both their cover and the other dude. No, there's only two left. Yeah, yeah. Oh no. I can't use her ability. But I can use control fire, which won't do shit though. It is a, actually a terrible ability. No matter, I'll use this to fuck them up. Alright, I'm going to use this time to heal. Heal yourself. And then heal him. And then... Oh, I can't do any more. Dang it. Okay. Oh, I can't use that. Use that to damage the both of them, or one of them in this case. Yeah, yeah. And now they're drawing out the medic. Of course they'll draw out the medic. A fucking course. Uh, who can I target to you? Damage him a good mount. Good, good. Or with a good. Loss. Another kind of buff. Doesn't matter. We take them out in the end. Bam. Two engagements within f about five minutes. That is pretty intense. Time to loot their uh, remains. Uh, let me... Okay, well then, let me heal then. Okay. I'm going to use up two more medic bags, since I can actually gain two more medic bags. Back away, and then loot all. Let's find this last enemy. Okay, there's a supply box. Let me see what's in here. Basically loot all I can. I'm going to use another compass. And we're going to head the opposite direction. Because I think the last of the enemy is this way. Yep, one patrol there. I'm gonna move up though, just to see what... All right, we're gonna do this one. Straight engagement. All right. Oh, there's not that many this time around, but we do have a machine gunner and an officer. Uh, if I remember correctly, Rona means like uh, other country soldiers that are fighting for the Germans because they want to. Yeah, it looks like these two, those two, specifically are from German, uh, Rus uh, from Russia. Because if you look at their, uh, he's holding a Russian machine gun and he's holding a fucking PPSH. Regardless, time to fuck them up. Time to fuck them up. <laughs> They're severely damaged now. Oh, they're actually gonna move a character. That's interesting. Which one can I snipe? 
Damn it, she actually missed. She actually missed. That's the first time the sniper has missed her shot. That's crazy. This time around though, you're dead. Fuck you. <laughs> Ow. Kill him. And then there's one left. Yeah, and the what he's saying sounds Russian to me, actually. So, I think they they probably are definitely Russians that are fighting for the Germans. With that, I'm gonna loot what I can, and we're gonna end the mission. Bam. Uh, we're pretty decent shape. The medic is a little bit injured, but it's okay. And we did pretty good. We did pretty good. And now we're on day 33, or in or in the uh, actual date, September 2nd, 1944. Now let's get to the next event. Never been so much fun. One of the youngest members of the Grey ranks was forced to kill an enemy soldier in self-defense today. Curiously, despite the initial shock, it would seem the youthful soldier has taken quite a liking to firing guns of all shapes and sizes and is excited to get back into the fray. One plus percent uprising momentum. That is good? <laughs> I think. Alright, after upgrading some things, changing some stuff, let's get back on to another set of missions. First, we're going to give these two areas some morale, and we're going to go to the next set of missions. Alright, firstly, the first province is Zelebros, Patrol Derailment. You just have high-risk Nazi patrols in the area. Four days for this mission. And then, the second mission is Mokotov. Uh, for a toe-to-toe, -to -toe, engage enemy forces five times. Mission duration is five time, five days. And one in Paraga, where we is called intercession. Help, uh, edu I can't even I honestly can't even pronounce what that says. What that, that word? Civilian disputes. So basically events. So, let me see the Zelbros is the one with, um... The most attrition, but I'm probably going to go to Praga because uh, these are high risk, meaning I could lose several characters, which I do not want to lose because if we lose them, then it'll be quicker for us to lose the game entirely. So we're going to go to Praga. It's a simplest mission, but in this case, it should help us out. Uh, we're going to take, this time around, we're going to take other characters that, oh shoot. I clicked the wrong button. <laughs> We're going to take other characters, um, let's see, that we haven't used, or who are just side characters as well, for this assignment. Actually, actually, no. We're gonna take, we're gonna take our main group because I want them to have the most XP. Uh, so yeah, we're just gonna take the main group again. Because I realize this will probably be a no, realistically a no combat operation. I'm still gonna bring some medic packs and that, just so that I could potentially need to heal them. But I think this is uh, it makes sense to do this because we'll give them more XP, and since they're our main four characters, they should help us out greatly. Plus, we'll try to avoid combat as much as we can. Alright, let's see what this dispute is. Intercession. You spend the next few minutes trying to grasp the core of the problem at hand. Then, with, when both sides are done presenting their arguments, you make your call. Continue. Okay, I think it'll be like some major decision we have to do at the end. But first I'm gonna check. Okay, that's just another enemy patrol, so we're just gonna head to the next section. Alright, there we go. Let's 
been a few minutes, so the same thing. Okay. Now we just have to find the third one. Wherever that could be. Okay, I'm going to do the compass. And I'm gonna do this. Usually Ooh, that was a good that was a good choice. Cause we will have ran into those. The one time I used the fucking flare. In the <laughs> In this game, basically. The only time, to be honest. Oh. Ooh. We're gonna have to go around. Yeah, I'm just... I, I'm trying to use this mission as a way to, uh... Not, fuck. When I try to avoid combat, I end up getting into combat. Well... Oh, it's a sniper, too. We're gonna have to deal with that first. Can I snipe the sniper? No, I can't. Can I will hit you then. Bam. It kills the dog, damages the sniper. Cause I don't think Yeah, I don't think the sniper can actually kill you in one shot like ours can. But I am not trying to let that happen. I'm not trying to let have that happen anyway. Fuck, we miss. Okay, we can't use him. Um, full, full auto, I can't. Volley won't do enough. I might have to waste the mow down to kill him. Bam. And then I'm gonna use the mow down again to try to do the most damage. Ah, uh, damn. Ooh, he's taking severe damage. You know, I'm gonna heal the medic first though, because she's more likely to get targeted. Like that. I can't use that for that, so. Once more, I'm gonna use it for her first. Ow. Alright, let's see if I can use the same. Bam. Takes one out again. And allows me to heal him now. I'll uh, heal the sniper in the next turn. Bam. Ow, fuck you. Please let me snipe him. Oh. Yeah, we're just gonna have to target him a bunch now. Uh, single shot a bunch of times. Surprise, the accuracy is still pretty decent. Alright, with that, I can't use her anymore. And I'll use him to do some more damage. Alright, and I'll use you one more. Fuck you, why you have to miss? I don't want him to do any more damage to us. Oof. There we go. I love how I try to avoid combat, and combat comes for me like, Nah, dog, you fighting. You fighting at least once. Alright, time to use our medic bags. Thank you. At least it's a, I guess it's a good thing I brought them. Alright. And it looks like they have some medic bags of their own. Thank God. Use that to heal the medic. Alright, this should help to maintain a semblance of order for now. For what is it worth you have helped a, that word to the best of your ability. And we're gonna immediately get the hell out of here. <laughs> uh, Jesus, we did take a lot of damage for a surprisingly easy mission. And now we're on day 36, or September 5th, 1944. Let's go to the event. New blood. Command has decided to assign a new member to your team. Surprising everyone, the newcomer turns out to be a defector from the enemy's forces. How he ended up in the uprising is something of a mystery, as he does not speak Polish all, all that well. Ne nevertheless, 
it is known that the ex-Nazi soldier hails from Alsace, and he does not appear particularly invested in the cause of the uprising. On the other hand, he also does not enjoy the prospect of dying in the name of the Reich. The prospects of valuable intel aside, a degree of caution is advised. Martin has joined your cause. Well, welcome aboard. Well, uh, aboard. Welcome aboard, you uh, turncoat. That's interesting. Let's actually check out his uh, the char his character. See what kind of weapons he does uses. All right, where is he? Where is the turncoat positioned? All right, we're just gonna scroll all the way. Okay, there he is. So it looks like he's a machine gunner. He has a uh, Polish machine gun and a Molotov cocktail. He has volley fire, controlled fire, like our sniper and our like our sniper marksman character. He also has shared insight. Ap apply all positive effects that affect the turncoat. Interesting. He also has Molotov and this. I'm going to add that. That doesn't sound as good. But he looks like he is a unique character in terms that he can use grenades that are deadly. So that's interesting. Alright, alright. Once more, I have upgraded all the characters, including the medic, who now has a passive that is going on that is called ongoing care. Which she actually heals the al her allies when they're being shot at or targeted by the enemy. So I think she'll automatically heal people. I don't know if it takes one of her stamina points. But it should help with the uh, medic stuff. But yeah, let's get on to the actual missions. First, we're going to give morale to all the people we can. And now let's actually uh, go to one of the missions. The first is from this province. Which is stove pipes everywhere. Prevent AT units from disrupting resistance operations. Three days. Next one is an ok Okata uh, bearing passage. Repair resistance barricades. Six, uh, six of them for five days. Or Mokotov, which is basically fighting an enemy. I believe I'm going to do bearing passage. Um, all the other ones are the lowest attrition they can be. Uh, and plus, this one is the longest, and it'll give us t our characters time to heal. Because this this time around, I'm actually going to use uh, my other characters that haven't been used yet. Including Martin and uh, Janos, as well as Marion, who was going there. And then I'm just going to bring one of these other two. In this case, I'm going to bring a heavy support guy. I'll bring one medic bag, our only camouflage suit we have left, a flare, a compass, and that should be enough. And the reason why I'm bringing, uh, I only have one flare, because if any of you may have noticed, I had two flares last, um, from the last section of this video, but I sold one for, uh, extra supplies. Let's do the barring passage. Barring passage. Your team fully commits to reinforcing the barricade. Thanks to your efforts, it should be able to repel the enemy for a little while longer. Another bearing passage. And we've committed to it, and we've made it so that it, this area could hold out a little bit longer. Same here. I'm gonna move a little slow because I don't know where supply crate. I'm gonna use this to loot basically everything we can. Bar barring the passages once more. And that's four of uh, six. And here's the fifth one. And we only have one left. There's a supply box which I'm gonna definitely go for. And I'm going to take all. Uh, I'm going to use a flare to find this. Ah, so it was hiding. The thing, it was not showing up because we were right on top of it. Barring passage. 
That was the last barricade in need of maintenance. A job well done. And we complete the mission without any casualties or anything and we grabbed a couple of loot and some experience for our characters. That was quicker than I suspected, but good. Sadly though, Wola and Zolobros had surrendered because their morale fell too quickly. Which is sad. Didn't expect it to fall this quickly, but we're lasting for longer than I suspected from last time. We're on day 41, aka September 10th, 1944. And let's go to the event. Grinding Halt. Today a disturbing discovery has been made. Apparently, certain pieces of the Uprising's heavy machinery have broken down out of the blue. While it is, it is too early to say whether this could be the result of sabotage, gossip about possibly subversions is already spreading, as evidenced by the number of uneasy onlookers. Regardless of your eventual findings, it, if left unchecked, such growing mistrust may negatively, negatively, negatively affect the morale of the uprising. So academics perform an informed examination. We only have a 70% chance for that to work. Braun, fix it right here, right now. Jury rig it if that's what it takes. We have an 80% for that to work. And then charm, assert that it was the work of a gremlin. We have no charm. We're going to do brawn because we have the best chance of it working. The machinery certainly looks like it can be quickly put back to, into shape. With extra force and effort, your teammate ma manages to get it working right in front of all of the surpri uh, of all the surprise outlookers, onlookers, rendering any concerns about critical damage irrelevant. Although some still worry that this does not prelude preclude a possible second act of sabotage, though those voices remain in a clear minority. Plus three uprising momentum. Bam, we're going to the next day. Day 41, 10th of September, 1944. After once again upgrading uh, some characters and uh, selling some goods, we're going on to the next section of missions. And we only have one excursion to do, which you can do easily immediately. And now we only have four provinces, so it makes it our job both easier and also more difficult. Because now, the more sets of missions we do, the more areas will be affected, since we only have four provinces left. The first one is in this province, which is Clear Channel. It's reestablished the down telephone lines, and it'll take five days to do. Uh, next one we have in Praga, which is basically to prevent AT units from disrupting resistance areas. And then this one, deliver supplies to resistance forces. So I'm either going to be doing Mo Mokotov or this one. This one is for five days, while this one is for four days. And I'm going to do the one for five days only because it makes it so that the resistance will last longer, as well as makes it so that there's less chances for us to do more missions, which gives it more chances for us to lose morale, lose attrition and such. Because I think there's a set specific a number of days that you can uh, survive in the resistance before they surrender. So, because like in real life, basically. But we'll see. I've never actually got, gained a victory yet in this game, so yeah. But yeah, we're going to do clear channel once more. And we're going to bring in our heavy hitters this time around. Only because they're fully healed and ready for combat. And we're going to, of course, bring some of those those and those in case we have to dodge some enemy patrols because we're going to try to avoid combat because in these latter missions it's going to be important for us to have our characters be in the best shape possible all right here's the first clear channel we have to do and these telephone lines will yet serve the uprising but right now there is still more work to be done we head south, and it looks like this one is not showing up immediately. So we're going to use our flare and clear the channel. Bam. Now we have to search for the next one. Which could be anywhere. Which is right there, actually. Clear the channel. Bam. Another one is over here somewhere. 
And we're going to avoid potential combat by going around these areas. Oof. I'm going to have to use our camouflage to go through and clear the channel. That should do it. Uprising communications in this area should improve considerably. And we're going to complete the mission. A very quick mission, indeed. But it gives us experience for all of our characters, and all of our characters stay full, fully health. We also gain some supplies. Plus, it moves the game forward quicker, as it was five days. And now it's the day 46 of the Uprising, aka September 15th, 1944. Let's go on to the event. New Blood. A com community arrives explaining that one of the silent unseen, a Polish unit raised and trained in exile by the SOE, uh, has been operationally assigned to your team by the brass. Though the details behind this turn of events are classified, the agent is never, nev nevertheless expected to follow all orders you might issue, with the benefit of the uprising being front and center in his goals. Carlo has joined your cause. Welcome aboard, Carlo. And looks like Mokotov probably will be the next one for us to try to head towards. As it is also decreasing in a, is the furthest in morale decrease. Technically. Well, actually, Prague has one less point, but I think it decreases faster. Alright, before we get on to the next section, I was looking at Carlo. It looks like he uses a submachine gun and a Molotov cocktail as his main weapons. Which gives him the uh, volley ability and controlled fire ability like several of our other characters. And he also has two skills, uh, the mo actual Molotov cocktail and a grenade, which does damage. And he also has special ordinance, which is, which is basically, I think, similar to that of... Uh, or one other rifle boy who uh, uses his bazooka. Uh, so he could also be very useful to use in these later missions. But besides that, I was able to upgrade slight things here and there. And we're moving on to this. Uh, we're starting to run out of things to sell. Uh, or things to sacrifice to sell. Uh, luckily, we're not, going to we're not going to use it uh, for a, the one province I cannot pronounce at all. Because it doesn't need it as much as the other two others. So bam. And now we're going to go on to the mission. So. The first mission is at Okata. Which is due, due to the dead. Bury those lost to the war. Which will take four days. Uh, then we have Weaken the Giant. Reduce Nazi presence in the era, area. Which will take five days. And then Neutralize Enemy Units. Which will take three days. It's between these two, since they're the bo some of the most uh, heavily hit. But I think I'm going to do, in this case... Hmm. I'm trying to think. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to have to do Mokotov. I want to do the Barrier of the Dead, because I want to try to avoid taking injuries and such. But because of how low its morale is compared to the other three provinces... Or districts, I mean. I'm going to do this one. So, let's deploy. And, of course, we're going to take our most heavy-hitting forces. To engage the hostiles. And we're going to bring all of our medical supplies as possible. As well as some more of our ammunition. And short ammunition. Bam. A uh, compass. We're not going to bring a compass. Here we go. And now we just have to find enemy units to fight. And immediately we find a supply crate first. Or ammo crate in this case. We're able to loot everything but the compass. Which is fine. And I didn't have a camouflage, so... Doesn't matter. We're going to fight you regardless. Doesn't look like that bad of an enemy unit. Hmm... I'm gonna do this one because it'll allow us to kill one immediately and do the most damage as possible. Ow. Oh, are you kidding me? They're suppressed. I can't use them at all. Crap. 
that is, that severely hampers our abilities there. But I'm able to kill one more, so it should help us. Okay, they missed, thank god. I still can't use the others. I might just have to use a machine, uh, a pistol. Uh, who can, who I'll do the most damage to? Bam. Ow. I'm gonna use her to kill someone now. The sniper, since she's the weakest health character wise. Ow. Okay. Now with that's over. We're gonna target these two first, try to kill them as quickly as possible. Ow, fuck you. We killed the first one, and the other guy is almost dead. He's taking the brunt of the damage, but he'll be fine. Can I snipe you? No, I can't. Can I snipe you? Yes, I can. I feel like it was a waste of a snipe, but it helps. And I'm gonna use you to actually heal him. Now I'm going to use this to do severe damage to at least one of you. Ow. Who can I snipe? I can't snipe. Somehow I can snipe the dude behind him. Which makes no sense, I guess. Uh, let's see. Who can I use? I can't use him. Full auto, I guess. It does a do. It does do a lot of damage. I'm gonna use this time to heal a character. In this case, a sniper lady. And bam, eliminated. Alright, first we loot them as much as we can. I'm going to immediately use our medic bags to heal our one character up and loot the other medic bag. There's an enemy squad there, so we're gonna head there immediately. Bam. Oh, it's loaded squad too. This could be interesting. Let's see, which one? The flanking will do a lot more damage. We're gonna do the flanking. One is able to sur somehow miss the hit, which isn't good. We're gonna try to kill three of them in a, try to kill three in, I wouldn't say in a row, but in a, oof, 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 oof. Okay, we kill two. That makes it that helps us out even the odds because they did target the sniper girl a little bit too much right there dang it i can't use that not on her either on him i can all right all right uh let's do that They waste their uh, shot, which is good. I can use this to damage their other two because they're cl one of them is close to death. Das wird dir Kraft geben. Let's target the medic with our medic. <laughs> medic on medic crime. Uh, let's see if I can snipe him. I can't snipe him. Can I snipe the officer? You're useless. You're so strong, but also so useless. Uh, bam, let's kill the officer at least. I uh, can't use that. Can't use that. And I miss. 
Of course I miss. Of course I keep missing this guy. He's just that good at surviving, apparently. Jesus. Well, I'm going to use him to heal the medic. Ooh, that's a critical heal. And dead. And loot everything we can. Now finding other enemies we must. We need to find two more groups of enemies. Need anything else we can from there. Can I actually hide? No, I can't. How do I heal? Because we're gonna might we might as well engage this enemy right here. Alright. Bam, we killed one immediately and nearly injure severely injured the other two. Ow. What's we'll severely try to continue to severely injure them? They're both under 20 hit points, which is good. Which means this should at least kill one of them. Bam. And I'll use the sniper to kill you that the medic or the other rifle guy. But then my last, uh, shot, I think. No, I can't shoot that one. Can't, can't shoot the medic. Please tell me I can shoot the office. Why? Target frontline enemies. Yeah, they're frontline. This one's frontline. I don't get it. Sometimes, I honestly sometimes don't get it. Screw it. Bam. Kill the officer. Can I snipe you? No, I can't. Can I snipe you? Dang it. Uh, what was I guess target? Apparently, the medic is able to dodge. Jesus. Of course. Of course. Fuck you. Fuck you. And fuck you. I have to heal her now. This group is the most the worst I've had to face so far and they're so spread out actually can I use her no I can't uh, fuck it target the main guy in the front go for auto nearly kill him please thank you he's nearly dead you know what? Fuck you. Kill him completely. Make it so it's just the medic. Because this medic is starting to get it on my annoying me. This medic is annoying me. Heal. And then, single target. Bam, half his health is gone. I can't use him. Can I use snipe on you? No. Please. You're the only- he's the only frontline enemy, though. Fuck it, medic. <laughs> uh, let's see. Bam. Just fucking murder him there. Jesus, that was the most... unnecessarily difficult enemy I had to face. Like, Jesus, let me loot your guys. Now let's head and find the last group we can fight. Oh, you... As I speak, <laughs> it's that group. Oof, about five enemies. Is it enough to kill the dog? Usually it is. Ow. Jesus Christ, Our, these soldiers are just expert at dodging enemy bullets. Okay, there we go. Oh my god, I just killed three in a row. Oh. Oh no. She's severe. She needs health. ASAP. Heal. 
Alright, this time around, fucking fuck them up good. Jesus, we killed the dog and critical the other guy. That guy is lucky to be alive, actually. Oh. Holy hell. Fuck him. All that's left is the one guy now. Can't use him. My use first aid to heal the sniper. Uh. Do severe damage. Doesn't do much damage, that's good. And now I'm gonna use this time to heal the other characters. First, herself. Then, him. Then, the Jinger boy. I'm only doing this because... Even though he could probably do more a small amount of damage to another character. I want to try to heal my characters as much as I can before we head back. So I'm going to heal her again. And I think that's her only move. Yep, that's her only move of this turn. Then I'm just going to... Okay then, I'm going to have to do it a second time. There we go. <laughs> Seriously, our characters are starting to miss a little bit more now. I don't know if that's a good or a bad thing. Alright, first we're going to loot their body. Then I'm going to immediately heal the characters. Actually, they're fine enough. Can't grab anything else, so I'm going to end the mission. Bam. Well, all of them got some good experience, but did take some damage, so they're gonna have to take some time to heal back in their camp. Day 51, September 20th, 1944. Let's go on to the event. Points of contention. The uprising constantly needs new encampments and defensible positions, and today is no different. An effort to construct more barricades across the city launches, and every willing... Versovian is invited to join. However, such a project requires considerable material investments. Commit to the construction effort. We need the resources for something else right now. I say commit to the construction effort. The uprising is going to need those barricades, and you dedicate a considerable amount of resources to the cause, plus four morale and Okhata, plus three percent uprising momentum, but we lose 15 supplies. And let's move on to the hub once back to the hub once more to upgrade our characters and to prepare for the next mission. However, looking at the time, it's time to end the episode for today. We'll continue the uprising in the next episode. Uh, we did a lot in this episode, a lot of missions, a lot of a lot of experience gained for our characters. Ba they become more battle hardened by the minute, more characters join us. We did lose two provinces, but the Warsaw Uprising is probably at it, both at its strongest and also at its most disadvantaged as possible, which, make, which makes both sense and no sense at the same time. But we are surviving, and I believe we, can, we have the potential to win this game, this, ver, uh, this, uh, this uprising this time around, even though I do not know how the game actually ends if you survive the uprising so hopefully we will do that in the next episode or in the episode after that but yeah uh hopefully you all enjoyed today's episode i certainly did until next time this is ghost signing out